a community of unique perfume lovers gather together in person for the first time for Glamcation 2022. We like the stuff that's a little harder to find, something that's going to make you stand out from a crowd. Um, they're niche fragrances, they're, you know, it's just not something that other people are going to be wearing when you go somewhere. Sarah Farid organized this multi-day event which attracted people from around the world. We got to meet each other and we could get these smaller indie houses, these small brands to come out, kind of let us smell their stuff so we can purchase it in person versus just kind of taking a chance on buying it online based on the notes. This perfumer from Portland says her small business called Shelter in Perfume began during the peak of the pandemic. So I started in 2020 uh, during the shelter in place orders. I uh, have always enjoyed fragrance and I wanted to do something that was creative. Um, I, I, don't, uh, I don't draw, I don't sing, I don't dance, I don't do <laughs> that sort of stuff. But I thought, I love fragrance, so maybe I'll just try messing around with fragrance, make presents for my girlfriends. And then during the uh, lockdowns, uh, I just sort of put everything into it. Emily says creating her fragrances has been a soothing and healing experience for her, and every new scent has a new narrative. It all starts in your mind with your vision and the story that you want to tell and the experience that you want the wearer to have. All of our fragrances tell a story. It's something that's very personal. Shoppers say they're grateful to have a space like this to support small business owners and get to know some faces they only saw online. I brought a lot of things. Um, uh, some of the perfumers I know from Instagram, and I know we've all been interviewing and interacting online for almost two years now, and it's really amazing to be able to meet everybody, everyone in person. I got uh, from Niles at City Rhythm. Um, I purchased, I love Miami and Manhattan, so I ended up purchasing Miami, Manhattan, and he has a new one, San Diego. Niles Ramadan creates scents based on location. We create fragrances inspired by iconic cities in the United States. So we travel to each city first to try to capture the, the, the vibe and the culture, create a little community around each fragrance, and then we share it with everyone who wants to, uh, you know, enjoy fragrances. Perhaps after this experience, he'll be inspired to create a new fragrance called Torrance. I'm Christine Lee with Torrance City Cable.